Hello everyone. Today we learn how to call screen flow from custom button in Salesforce. So in the previous session we have learned about the basic concept of the screen flow. Now today we will see how we will call the screen flow from the custom button. Hi all, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel. The name is Easy Coding with Shantanu. Tip for today, uh, always use hierarchy custom settings for running validation rules based on the profiles. So, when you will use the hierarchy custom settings in your validation rule, you can bypass the validation rule for the system admin profile or you can execute the validation rules with respect to each profile with respect to your business. So, today's agenda is calling a screen flow from the custom button. Then we will see uh, how to execute the screen flow from the button. Then we will discuss about how to send parameters from custom button to the flow. At the end of this session, we will learn, uh, it means we will discuss about some questionnaires and we will provide you some exercises so you can do uh, those exercises uh, when you will get time. Now, those are simple steps how to call the screen flow from the button. First, Obviously, you have to create the screen flow and after that, after activating the screen flow, you have to save the flow URL from the flow details, then go to object manager, then click new button or link, then you need to uh, set some display type and display behavior and obviously that the content source should be URL and after that you need to paste that the flow URL when you, where you have saved uh, in the step one. So we will see how to see uh, how to call the screen flow from the custom button in demo. Let's go to the demo quickly. So currently, I am in Salesforce org. So what I will do, I will go to flow. So in the previous session, we have created this flow account creation screen flow. What I will do, I will click on that the view details and versions. And after that, I will save this URL. Let's say like I will copy this URL. Control C. Now, what we'll do? Actually, I want to create a button from the contact uh, uh, object. Basically, from the contact record, when user will click the button, that system will create on account record. So, I will go to the contact object. Then go to buttons, links, actions, click on new button. Let's say I can put the name as create account. Select display, display type as detail page button and content source should be URL. Now I will paste the flow URL. Okay. So this URL I got from the flow versions, flow details and versions is what we have seen earlier. Okay. Now just save this button. So you have created the button until you have add uh, until you have added those added this button to the page layout uh, uh, means you will not get to see that the button on the respective contact page. So what I need to do need to go to the page layout and so need to update the contact layout means contact page layout with this button. So our button name is the create account go to mobile and lightning actions select create account place and then the mobile Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section. <coughs> now save it. Now what we will do, I will, will just open the app sales. Now you go to the contact tab, open the contact record and you will get to see that the create account button which we have created just now. So when you will click on create account, then the, the respective flow uh, is coming over. The flow name is account creation screen flow. You can see in the tab. So let's say we can we can ABC Corporation. We can give the name as account as ABC Corporation. Account number etc. and some random number. And type is such customer channel. Okay. Now click on next. Fine. That the account is respect that the respective account is being created. 
So the success message is that account ABC corporation is being created. That's it. Now we can see where is the account. See that the account is created. If I'll go to the account, if I go to the details, you can see the account number, account name, as well as the type. So in this way, we can invoke the skin flow from the custom button. Now we go back to the slide. Now, next is that how to send parameters from the custom button to flow. The same thing we have, as you remember, we just copy that the that the flow URL from the flow details and version page. That the URL would be the same. Now is that how to send the parameters? Just to now just to put the question mark and then just the flow input variable name is equal to value. So remember that the that the whatever the whatever the variable you will mention in that the URL that variable should be marked as input type in the flow builder okay so this is the most important thing when you will declare any flow variable mark it as a, mark as it is input if you want to pass this flow variable as the parameter from the custom button on the right side that is that picture is taken from salesforce self so what are the type of the parameters uh, salesforce actually supports uh, let, uh, those those types actually we have mentioned here so this on is boolean currency date date time remember that when you send the date time the, the t and z format you need to consider for multi select pick list you can you can send the value as uh, separated with semicolon here just value 1 semicolon value 2 so in this way you can send uh, all those parameters in the flow from the custom button now we will discuss some questionnaires the first question is that can we call auto launch flow from the custom button yes you can call auto launch flow from the custom button we will discuss about the auto launch flow in the next uh, session two uh, next question is that can we place the type of custom button with flow into lightning page directly No, because when you will add, when you will create the custom button, first you need to add the custom button in the respective page layout. After that, you will get that custom button in the lightning record page. Question number three. This is interesting. How to send the contact record ID from the custom button placed in the contact record to flow? Already we have discussed about how to send the parameters, right, from the button to flow. The same way, just you need to write in the March field the contact.id. So why I have written contact here? Because let's assume that you have placed the button in the contact record. So whenever you will write that the March field contact.id, it will send that the current contact record ID from the button to the flow. This is for you. Please uh, do this exercise whenever you will get time and just let me know uh, if you will get any issue. The requirement is that business wants to see the account details with the following fields from the contact record. For that, you need to create a custom button named show account info, which will be placed in any contact record page, which will call the screen flow to show the account details. That means you have to create a screen flow. Uh, with the following fields account name account number type and account description from the custom button you have to send that the contact id then you will get to the respective account id and from the account id you will get to you, you need to query that the account record with those field information so remember whenever you are sending the parameter if i go back to the previous slide you can see that the contact.id is available but contact.account id would not be available you can check once when you will get time. That's it for today. Uh, please reach out to me uh, with respect to my uh, uh, respect to my contacts. Uh, you can reach reach out to me in my LinkedIn profile or my Gmail ID or in Twitter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel Easy Coding with Santanu. Thank you all. Bye.